Now, KLBK Sports with Matt Roberts. Hey there and welcome back. Well, the football season right around the corner for the Red Raiders, but several players along with Coach Kingsbury taking some time out of their day-to-day -to, -day to volunteer at the Ronald McDonald House. Since taking over as head coach, Cliff Kingsbury has been adamant that being a Tech football player is about so much more than what you do on the field. Community events like this one really drive home that point. And, and we make a big push for that in our program, and, and I, I just like to see, let our players know how lucky they are with, with life they've been provided and, and being able to be an athlete and, and be a college student, because um, not everybody gets that chance. I think we've done a pretty good job so far of getting out in the community, and are going to continue to do that. There's six of us that obviously went to school here, and, and this love it means the world to us. So as much as we can help out love of Texas, we're going to do that. And while Cliff is back home representing his alma mater, several Tech baseball players are carrying the Texas Tech banners far and wide. It's tonight for the third Tech player to make his MLB debut as Roger Kieschnick made his first career start for the Giants. Batting seventh and playing left field for the world champs. Here he is in his first career plate appearance. Rips this ball into center for the RBI base hit. Scores another rookie with his family looking on. A special moment there for Kieschnick. Gets that ball back and then here in the second doing some work with his glove. Gonna make the nice and running catch on his first defensive chance there. And we're liking what they see out there at Citizens Bank Park. Here in the third, his second career at bat. Shoots this one into left center. That's going to play another run. He would finish two for five with two RBIs as his team wins in a route this evening, nine to two. So tonight, a big night for Kieschnick. But tomorrow, a big one for former Tech teammate Chad Bettis. He's slated to start tomorrow night's game against the Atlanta Braves. Bettis was expected to pitch from the pin after being called up. But manager Walt Weiss has him penciled in for tomorrow night's game. Bettis is 3-4 and four this year with a 3.71 ERA in 12 starts for Tulsa. Well, the Rangers have been searching for offense these last few weeks, and it seems like a crippled Angels team rolling into town was just the cure. Texas has had hit a walk-off home run each of the last two nights. The Rangers looking to break out the brooms tonight. And here in the second, Nelly Cruz breaks out the boom. As in the boom stick, his future with the Rangers in doubt, but helping tonight, it's 1-0 Texas. Here in the seventh, it's their old pal Josh Hamilton right there coming back to Texas. That's vintage Josh right there. The solo shot ties the game at one, but then in the bottom of the ninth, just like clockwork, Adrian Beltre at the plate. They walk it off for the third night in a row. A much different ball game than last night, but they win it all the same. They win this one by a final of 2-1. to one. Really look excited. Yeah, no kidding, right? Just a little bit. The it, fifth MLB team to walk off three consecutive games. So. Awesome. And yeah. it doesn't seem like it's getting old. No. <laughs> Not at all. It doesn't seem like that at all. I'm sure the Angels are ready to leave town, though. No <laughs> yeah. joke. Matt, thanks very much. Yeah. We'll be right back.